Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're going to be taking a look at a limited edition of a keyboard we all probably already know. This is the Royal Kludge RK84. Uh, now I know I can speak for myself and possibly some out there in the audience that has had a Royal Kludge at one point or another or perhaps still does. I know some of my first modding after I did a, an Ayusu board and a Red Dragon board, it was an RK61. And I've modded quite a few since then. And I've enjoyed it. Now, I'll accept the RK100 Pro, which I recently purchased myself. Um, they seem to have been improving now. The RK100, I'm pretty sure, especially the date on the PCB was like 2020. So it was definitely older stock. Uh, but it didn't have any dampening. Whereas the newer ones that I've seen, and I'm going to assume this is one of the newer ones, uh, not only did the construction seem better, more solid, there was also good dampening between the plate and the PCB as well as dampening inside of the case, which made for a much better stock experience. Um, the stabs were even a little bit better. So, I'm hoping that's what it is with this one. Now, this one, I believe the name on it is, it is, uh, okay, it comes with yellow switches. And I want to say this is the Americana. I could be wrong. I will correct myself if I am. So, as a disclaimer, this was sent out to me by them uh, to in exchange for an honest review and nothing else. And everything I say, of course, is my own opinion. So, let's go ahead and see what we've got in the box. Now, we've got spare switches. This is always good. I think keyboards should include a minimum of two, but four is perfect for an 84, uh, 84 key, 80%. Um, Royal Clutch is one of the few companies that does this, and I just got to give them props for that. We've got our magnetic feet. <laughs> Now these are the bane of some people's existence. I uh, I will lose things regardless. The fact that they've got magnets on it makes it much easier for me to find. That's uh, that's not neither here nor there. I mean, at least they have feet. So we've got your standard wire, key switch, and key cap for, as well as a USB A, USB C, um, just a rubberized cable. And here we are, the Royal Clutch RK84 Americano Edition. Now, looks like we have some really nice caps that actually have, oh, okay, that's the connection. They do have some some lower sub-legends, which is, uh, so the function Windows Mac, uh, the different devices, one, two, three, different Bluetooth devices. I'm gonna guess R is probably for the 2.4, as it does have 2.4. Thankfully, it has a pocket. Though, oddly enough, I wonder why it's not centered more and they just put some plastic feet. I understand the magnetic feet when you're dealing with CNC cased bottoms, but I don't understand why they skipped out on that here. So we've got an on and off switch as well as the Bluetooth or the 2.4. And we also have a USB hub, I believe the RK84 as well as the RK100, the, not the Pro one, have this which is nice. Now, I've had people ask, so I'll go ahead and say it. The USB hub doesn't work over wireless. It's only gonna work when you're plugged in. But for me, I love this because I primarily use wireless mice. Yeah, I, I like Logitech mice. I'm just used to them. I know. Um, I actually, high, high DPI mice, I don't know, they mess with me. Anyway, I'm able to just plug in the Nano controller right here and then I got my mouse and then I'm good to go. So, because my mouse is usually going to be quite near the keyboard. I think more manufacturers need to do this because, I mean, that's a simple circuit. It really is splitting off, um, you know, two ports, ten ports, whatever. It's USB. Anyway, I like that feature. I don't know why they didn't put feed in there and they put this right here. And it, let me see. 
actually seems to stay in there pretty good with that magnet. I gave it some nice wax there. All right, that's nice. Well, let's check out these key caps. Are they double shot? Ooh, they are double shot, but only at the top. Well, let's see what they come in at. Da, da, da. <laughs> All right, they're 1.2 millimeters. I mean, at least they're above one, but they're kind of thin. They would be probably 1.4 or 1.5 if the double shot actually filled the inner body as well. So that's where, I mean, the thicker the cap, the deeper the resonance. And I think that's what most people want from their keycaps. I don't think anybody wants clackiness from their keycaps, but. I'm, I'm not here to decide. So, we have partial double shot. And we do have hot swap with Gatoron yellows, I believe. Just the regular yellows. Let me see. Yeah. There's some spring ping in there. So, those are just regular yellows, not yellow pros. Now, we do have... Let me see. Grab my handy dandy little spudger. We do have what looks like, oh no, that's just the PCB. For a second I thought that was a, a pad. Hmm. All right, well, we do seem to have dampening between the plate and the PCB. So that is definitely good. And we have some open cell foam for the case dampener. So at least we are dealing with a better built board. Like I said, RK for the longest time, I mean, their, their keyboards didn't really change. So I'm trying to, this is North facing. And it is a North facing keyboard. Though, as I've said before many times, um, I don't believe that to be an issue. Uh, especially using newer switches you're not going to find any interference I interference now these do look to be like oem height uh, yeah those are oem so we're dealing with oem anyway but if you want shine through key caps then you want north facing you know if you want that light to come through um, unless you're getting side print or side shine through key caps those will be the only ones that are going to work with south facing keyboards so we've got these yellow switches. Now the keycap set, if I had to guess it's PBT, but I'll definitely look that up. Um, it's, it's a nice keycap set. I, I could see using it. it. It feels pretty good. I definitely want to um, lubricate those switches, but we're gonna stick stock for right now. that ping. I don't know if any of that ping comes across, but it's not too noticeable. It actually doesn't sound half bad. Let's take a look at these stabilizers. All right, we've got cream colored stabilizers, and, and I don't know if it is a thing, but I have found the milky stabilizers are usually the ones that require the most work, whereas the solid color ones seem to be much better. Now, these are definitely lubricated. I would say over lubricated. They just blopped it in there, but it's just on the corner of the wire. Now, let me see. It does look like we have a steel plate. Let's double check. Yep, that is a steel plate. And, oh yeah, those save, oh. Huh, one side is really well gripped. The other one has a bit of a wobble, but not that much. I mean, it could help from one, one piece of tape, but then it'd be a little tighter on one side than the other. Let's take a look at another stabilizer.
It's the slightest. Yeah. They're actually on there pretty good. There's no tick. I mean, it's bottoming it out, but not stabilized. It has a big rattle, but just the tiniest little bit. Well, I thought they were Gatorons till I go open them. They're RKs. I noticed that they had wing latch, so... I was like, wait a minute, that's not a Gatoron. I'm not really lubing it, I'm just gonna... Not donut dip, but donut roll. <laughs> the outside, the bottom. That way I keep from getting any of the grease. Oh, got a little too much there. This is to stop the resonance. Stop that ping at least right here in the space bar. Yeah, it does look like a long stem. Every time I say long stem, I want to say roses. <laughs> Is that just me? See, most of the time, that's usually all a switch will need. Yeah, I know, I cheated. I did the space bar, just out of curiosity. I mean, it, it could use a little tuning, but it's it's not bad for, for a stock space bar stabilizer. Let's plug it in and see what RGB has to give us. This is the pretty standard the functionality for the keyboard hasn't changed all that much yeah function print screen is insert function home switch back right now. so yeah despite this being a steel plate because if this was polycarbonate plate that would act more like a diffuser but it actually you can see the lights and well lit so some pretty bright RGB so we can go through solid colors and we can scroll through the effects and then it has a connection settings for 2.4 and Bluetooth and like I said before you got three different slots QW E for uh, Bluetooth devices. I'm going to guess R is for um, for 2.4. Why, why am I guessing when I could just read it? Alright, you don't need to press anything. You have to be in Bluetooth mode. Then you press function Q, W, or E to switch to the channel. And then you long press it to, put, to get, enter pairing mode for that particular slot. But for G... You just turn it to G and you plug in. All right, so it's just driven by the switch. It definitely feels less hollow. It feels a little more substantial. It has some more weight to it. Um, it definitely, just for me playing with it, sounds much better stock than any other RK I've ever come across. So, um, hmm, what? Let me take that back. The RK, is it 731? Uh, their gasket one they just put out recently with the knob. I can't remember that one. That one did sound pretty good. So let me take that back. It's one of the best or better Royal Clutch um, stock keyboards that I've listened to now. I think partially it has to do with the keycaps and, and of course, with the dampening. Now, had they gone the extra step, changed out the plate to a PC plate and put in... Either, I mean, I'd be fine with their, their switches. Just put them in there with 
some sort of lubrication, at least for the spring, so you get rid of that, that ping and it's going to be a much deeper tone, something that people are going to prefer much better when they you know use this keyboard out of the box. So that's that's the feedback that I have on it. Other than that, I mean, that and the feet, this is a pretty good keyboard. For me, I've used both the RK and the EP84, which, I mean, they're very similar. Um, but I like the compactness of it. I know, I mean, if I'm going to use it more, you know, every day, I do prefer Exploded. But if I'm on the road, the compactness of this uh, and the fact that I can use it wireless should I need to, I prefer not to. But, I mean, there are times that it just makes things easier. Um, and I won't lie, there's been times I've actually been on the road. And, you know, I take my um, Android TV uh, little box that I plug in and always have an issue finding the remote but I'll always have my keyboard paired to it and I can scroll through and find what I want to play so it it works for me for that and then I can switch over to my laptop and just get to work as a starter keyboard I mean this this one I think is great I'm definitely going to come back to it and get the best sound out of it but they've already kind of taken some of the work out of my hands because they have you know, put in plate dampening. I probably will replace uh, the case dampening and either lube. Yeah, I'll probably just lube the switches and change the uh, the the inside as well as a, a tape, Tempest tape and a PE foam on. Um, now I may try something different. There's a couple of ideas I've gotten, but I know that those will make this sound nice and poppy. It'll give it a good tone. Because it has a nice body. I mean, I actually, I don't mind the design of it. It's, it's almost, you could say it's kind of like a wedge. Um, well, obviously, I, I've got the feet on there. I mean, I guess it is a wedge, technically. But it's a nice design. It's easy to use. It's reliable. I mean, I can't say when the first RK board I got was, but I know it still works. Um, I want to say it's been at least three years. But, um, yeah, it still works. It still connects. It's funny because um, one of my tablets that I got right before it um, is still connected to it. So I'll wake the tablet up if, and I'll forget, you know, that it's connected to it and I'll pull it out and I'll be messing with it. And, you know, my tablet will just pop on from across the room. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, oh, I'm connected to you. And they've been connected. They've been, they've been paired together for at least three years. And, I mean, I have, because that was one of the first keyboards I got, um, or mechanical keyboards, like budget mechanical keyboards that I bought, I, you know, I threw it in my bag, I would leave it in my car, I, I, I beat it up a bit, and, <laughs> I mean, if it didn't work, I would expect it to be, well, I got, I got my money's worth out of it, because I actually believe it was either uh, renewed or open box and I know I got it like half price that it was regularly selling for I can't remember the exact amounts it's been a while I beat the hell out of that keyboard uh, lost keycaps ended up finding them ended up changing out the keycaps at one point to put in keycaps um, which was a little clacky but anyway I'm going into the weeds you're starting out I mean, it's, it's not a bad board. Royal Kludge has always kind of been a reliable uh, a vendor of, you know, well-priced, decent keyboards. Um, I believe this one retails or MSRPs for $84.99, but it goes on sale for as low as $59.99 or, or $64.99. I, I will put that in, in the technical section. But... Um, I gotta say, I mean, it, it, it to me, especially that you've got the three mode, you've got a USB hub hub integrated, you got the hot swap, so you can change it out to any switches that you like. It's got a decent keycap set. I mean, unless you're really looking for, you know, perfection, but I mean, the legends are done decently. They're clean. They're not marred in any way. Um, They may be the kind that develop shine, but I don't know. Only time would tell that. That could just be a little bit of grease from my fingers. 
Um, but you 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 could do a lot worse. I mean, for stock keycaps, these are pretty nice. So if you just want to get up and go, this is going to do it. And then, you know, if you wanted to say dip your toes in and start by, hey, I want to lube switches or at least do the the donut dip, you know, because I like I said, a lot of switches I believe all they need is just a little for re reverberation control and you can get that with grease there's a little ring of grease around the the spring is going to stop spring ping now there are switches that do have leaf spring ping and you can well i personally will just put a dab of grease on the back um, that way i'm not touching the front leaf spring and i usually will control reverberation on that and if they're scratchy they'll usually break in within a couple weeks of use or you can build or buy a breaking machine. They're they're very efficient, and they they do they will get rid of scratchiness and good to go. But that's just again veering off into the weeds. Today we took a look at the RK84. They come with RK yellow switches, um, which are unlubed, and this keycap set. Which I mean, they call it Americano, I believe, but it is more. I mean, it kind of reminds me of Rome. Uh, it, but it is a nice keycap set. The, the legends are very clean and crisp, and it does. It retails for ninety nine ninety nine, but it's currently on sale for seventy nine ninety nine. I I guess I was thinking of the price um, of the regular one. So now this is a special edition, but it does, like I said, it does appear because uh, some of the last few. RKs minus the RK100 Pro, which, like I said, I believe was old stock, um, came with dampening, whereas historically Royal Clutch did not come with any sort of dampening in the case or and or between the uh, PCB and plate. So, I mean, at 79.99, it's it's still, I mean, it's it's topping the line of value, but I'm gonna assume it probably. Um, will go down in price or there will be sales here and there um, but I mean starting out it's 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 not a bad board especially if this is the type of, of layout that you want that you can work with these um, Royal Clutch does have a basic remapping or rebinding so you could fix those to I mean except obviously yeah the ones you can't change are like home and end because those already have the separate controls so the ones that are on the sub legends you can't change but you can remap other keys so it's a um, it's one of the better sounding royal clutches they've been around for a while they're reliable i do know for a fact that they honor warranties um obviously not on the one that i beat up but it's still working so <laughs> if i said it to them maybe they'd be like uh yeah nice try uh, <laughs> but um, on another one for a friend he got and it it did it just stopped working one day and it was like three months after he got it he thought he was just gonna just have to throw it away and I was like well let's at least try and we reached out to them and we were able to get a warranty exchange and he got uh, like a free artisan key and a cable I think I mean they, they gave him a couple of free things so I mean he had to wait and it took a while it took total probably like six weeks in and out but, um, and then they just wanted a, a picture of his old one destroyed instead of shipping it back, which I thought that was kind of odd. But still, um, we, we did a office space moment um, with it. Huh. Let's get technical. Today we're taking a look at the limited edition Royal Kludge RK84 in Americano black colorway. It is a 75% three mode keyboard with a USB hub. This keyboard MSRPs for $99.99, but is currently on sale for $79.99. It comes in at a weight of 808 grams. It has RK switches, double shot TOM OEM, possibly PBT keycaps. It includes a 3750 milliamp hour battery. The chin sits at 19.5 millimeters above the surface, while the back sits at 33 millimeters above the surface, providing a typing angle of 7 degrees. If using the included magnetic feet, you raise the back up 
to 41 and a half millimeters and changing your typing angle to 12 degrees. So today we took a look at the RK84 limited edition Americano Black. It is a very nice, um, well, well sounding stock keyboard from Royal Clutch. A um, couple of the things that make it uh, sound better are definitely the keycaps as they are thicker and they're not as clacky, though I do wish they were fully double shot, they're top double shot. I believe they are PBT, but they could be ABS, but my guess would be PBT. The, um, as well as the dampening that it has between the plate and the PCB and inside of the case. So being that it's also a three mode wireless with a USB hub that works in wired mode, it has a lot of neat little features that make it a, what I would consider a good buy for, especially people just starting out. If they don't want to do any mods, they don't have to. If they do, they can start just by lubing the switches. Despite the listing saying that these switches came lubed, I did not find that to be the case. As soon as I dipped the uh, space bar switch in there, it got rid of the ping all the way, and they were quite pingy um, without. So I don't know if they just maybe lubed the rail stems or put the film they did on there, but the, the uh, springs were definitely not lubricated so anyway despite that i think it, it does sound pretty good um i do believe it probably should be a little bit cheaper i think it might be on the higher end though like i said for royal clutch and i do remember a day when the regular rk84 went for 79.99 and or 89.99 so this being better i understand why not make, they may be asking for more but I also saw those drop a lot of times down at least 10 or 15 bucks and go on sale. So, but um, at what it is, it's definitely within the range. It's at the top end of the range, but it's within the range for a, a decent value proposition. Um, sounds pretty good stock, has pretty good features. 3750 milliamp hour battery should do you good, especially if you uh, turn down or turn off your LEDs. So I'm going to leave you guys with a stock sound test of this RK84, and then uh, we will be coming back to it at some point, then we'll see how we can get it to pop and how well we can get it to sound, because these these keyboards I've, I've modified, uh, uh, I don't know how many, I don't want to say a number or be off, um, a couple at least, um, and they tend to, if given the right mods, they, they can come out sounding really good. So I think that'll be the case with this one. And we'll see if I can be minimal and st still get that, you know, excellent tone out of it. But anyway, I'll go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this RK84 Americano edition. Until the next transmission, you know what to do. Keep calm and keyboard on.